Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, we're back once again in the Cherepnine Horn Quartet series. I'm so happy that I think this is now the third week in a row that I actually managed to post video every week. So I'm super happy about that. Can't make any promises, but um, I'm trying. I'm trying to post videos more frequently. It's It's been fun. So... You may have noticed that today I was playing at another horn that you haven't seen before. This this horn is actually my own instrument. The two that um, showed up most recently in the last two quartet videos, um, both different models of Yamaha horns, both of those I uh, had the opportunity to borrow for some of my, my auditions earlier in the year. But this horn is one that's been lying around for a very long time. I actually started on this horn. Uh, this is a Khan 60 and it is from Elkhart, Indiana. If you can maybe see, oh, there it is. Maybe you can just see that engraving there. It says CG Khan Elkhart, Indiana, USA. Um, this is an E series Elkhart Khan 60, which according to my research dates it to about 1965. So this is is an old horn. It's been around the block of more than a few times. As you can see, there's some pretty sizable dents there. Um, there's a patch there. There's another patch back here, I think. There, there it is. The lead pipe is bent, <laughs> and the receiver is is worn so much that if I were to grab my normal mouthpiece, which is Alaski 775F, this is what I play all the time. Um, it's supposed to go in that far. It goes in that far. <laughs> so it's been worn so much that it's like European shank now uh, because of mouthpieces going in and out for so long. I believe this was owned by a school for a period of time, which easily explains its condition. Um, but nonetheless, it still plays good. Um, it, you know, there are a few things that are less than desirable about it, but it actually, it's, it sounds okay, and it's, it's easy to play, which is very nice. So, I thought I might as well throw it in the video today, and um, you may have noticed listening that my intonation was not quite as spot on as it is usually. I can't say that it's always great, but... I was I had to fight hard to actually play in tune on this horn. This it's got some strange pitch, pitch tendencies this horn has. So anyway, if you'd like to see me talk about this horn in detail, you can let me know in the comments. I don't know if whether I'll do it or not, but if you're interested, um, let me know and I'll I'll think about doing that. So anyway, thanks again so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. See you guys next time.